After decades of hype, virtual reality is set to experience its mass market moment in 2016. In the coming months, Sony, HTC, and Facebook's Oculus VR unit all plan to release virtual reality headsets outfitted with software, screens, and sensors that will immerse users in experiences that seem to be above, below, and all around them. Those companies and others, including media titans like Disney and 21st Century Fox, are developing content for the headsets, including a simulated flight to Mars based on Fox's The Martian and top video games like Rock Band. Virtual reality is also set to be one of the main draws at the 2016 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. But the promising technology faces major challenges before it actually goes mainstream. Beyond the common hurdles for new technologies, such as whether consumers are willing to pony up hundreds of dollars for a new device, there are yet unanswered questions about how VR can affect users' bodies and minds. Using virtual reality can prompt headaches, nausea, and eye strain. And early signs suggest VR experiences can take a psychological toll. Some users, for instance, found the experience of walking across a plank over a deep pit unsettling. That's partly why headset makers suggest that children under the age of 13 not use their devices. Samsung and Oculus urge adults to take at least a 10-minute break every half hour. 